David Duke will go into the forecourt and just dribble out the clock, and the Friars will be defeated by the preseason number six team in the nation, 83 to 51, here at the Barclays Center. This won't be one anybody wearing black and white will want to remember for a while. And this afternoon from the Dunkin' Donuts Center in downtown Providence, it is Providence Friar ball against the Texas Longhorns. And hi again, everyone. Don Rook, along with Joe Hassan, crosses to the center, top of the key, underhanded pass to Young for the dunk. Great job by Pipkins that time, kept his head up. Dumps it off the alley, the lane throws up the runner, and he throws it up for Watson, who That's it. No time left on the clock, ball game over. everything we wanted to do. Uh, from an offensive standpoint, our execution, just keep shooting the ball until the ball is going. Happy New Year, everyone. We've got it heating up inside the Dunkin' Donut Center for the Big East opener for 2019 and 2020. It is Providence and it's Georgetown. Seven. get off to the good start in Big East play for 2019 and 2020. They ring out the old year and ring in the new one with a 76 to 60 win over the Georgetown Hoyas. Let's not worry about what we did wrong. Let's celebrate what we did well. We won the game. We dominated the game and we did what we had to do. Good win, man. Here we go. Yeah! And this afternoon from the Windy City, it's Chicago, Illinois. It's Big East basketball. The Providence Friars and the DePaul Blue Demons. White for three again. Malik White has the hot hand for the Friars. He does, and he's shooting the ball with confidence. Now Pipkins stops and pops. Pipkins on the offensive end. Pipkins. Two for two for Pipkins. Extra pass into the corner. Emmett Holt rattles the three in. 10-point lead, a 10 0 run for Providence. Diallo back on the floor of those four fouls. Beautiful cut to Malik White. Yes, this great execution. Coach Cooley is a master out of timeouts. The shot. It's yeah. good. <laughs> he hit the second of the two. The thing is, it's not perfect. We'll see the game, but not to the last game of the season. Got, enough, got a road win, got a league win, right? League win. And tonight we're from Milwaukee, Wisconsin in the Five Serve Forum. And in the Big East Conference, it is Providence College and it is Marquette. Only hit one here so far tonight. Off the transition, Yalo, who's been quiet, takes the contact and one. Really a good, really good. Reeves for three, right side, got it! <laughs> got it, nailed it! To Reeves, who had the big three, he gets it over. Something's got it into A.J. Reeves tonight. Thompson, the quick feed to Howard, but he lost it. Got position. Right, look out! showed some resilience and I thought we showed a lot of a lot of progress with respect to keeping our composure and winning the game. Welcome inside the Dunkin Donut Center tonight. Big East basketball has the Providence Friars stepping up against the St. John's Red Storm. Play for the Friars out to Diallo. Wide open lane. Live in the physicality department. Diallo three. Two games combined. Diallo nice move. Now the jumper right now. Driving, tough shot off the window. Comet. 
exhausted. They don't know where to be. Pipkins, nice oh, give and go. go. Pipkins, baseline. Gets into the lane, turns around, turn around, jump oh. up. Good! As the oh. shot clock goes off. In and out, Pipkins rebounds, Friars win. Good win for the Friars, John. It was uh, a grinded out, tough battle. Wow. A win, a win's a win's a win's a win. But really enjoying this win, man. It's hard. All these games are coming down to one, two possessions. Proud of how hard we played, how together we played. There was a mistake here, there was a success here. Every day, man, every day. Quite frankly, I may have us playing these black jerseys every single game, to be honest. Yeah. Opportunity spelled with a capital O. Once again, for the Friars, they get 21st ranked great. In the least, 24 points his last four games. She's white deep outside of the world. Malik White is 27%. Three points just started. There's a three ball, much needed by A.J. Reeves. Go back to two. A oh, good look underneath. Dunk Reeves from Young on the assist. Diallo, three ball. Turn it! Now the crowd's getting it up. Left side, Duke is wide open for three. Providence. We'll get a second straight victory over a top 25 team. They'll move to six and four in Big East play, and they're tied for third in the league with Creighton. With Creighton, as the clock runs out. Providence 73, 21st ranked Creighton 56. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Get him, Lee. Get him, Lee. Get him, Lee. Get him. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. I think we did a really good job. I'm proud of the way I saw us connected on the bench. You know what I'm saying? Because it's easy, easy when you're not getting back in. Or when you see dudes out there rolling like that, the only time we take them out to is to get them a quick sub, get them back in. And we did that with AJ. Way to shoot the ball, baby. Hey, guys, really embrace this. It's not where we started. It's where we're going and how we're going to finish. And tonight, inside the Dunkin' Donuts Center, the Friars yet again another huge opportunity to turn this season right around on its ear against the 10th-ranked Seton Hall Pirates. It's fun. Reeves off the mark. Offensive rebound for Dan. Duke trying to answer. He does! And the foul! Shot off the front of the rim by Nelson. Reeves on the attack. Reeves with the throwdown. They have to go. The hollow three. Uh, Unreal. 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 Back. Here comes Pipkins, and he lays it in. And you know, Ed Cooley trying to. Diallo explodes and scores! 74 to 71 Providence. The bottom line is the Friars get the upset over 10th ranked Seton Hall. And the Friars get a badly needed, much needed resume win potentially for postseason play. Really, really good win. Like, I thought we were tough. I thought we were urgent. They went on the run. I thought we finished the game. Great job, free throws, executing, getting the ball in bounds, late game execution means everything. I thought we were a tougher team today. Good win, Doug! 
And tonight from the nation's capital, the Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C., we've got Big East basketball, old school style, Providence, Georgetown. Alpha looks, kicks the ball back out to Pipkins. He's open for three and he hits. Good pass by Alpha Diallo right there. If you get Pipkins an open look with some space, there's a good chance he's going to make that shot. Corner AJ, he's watching the post, backs his way in on Wahab. Jump hook is good. Well, he got great position on that one, John. Double team is there. Finds Khalif open for the layup. What a pass by Malik White. He looked off the defender for a little floating pass inside. No. Diallo offers a put back. Oh. Yes. And one. He's fouled. Duke Two to Pip. Pipkins, he's going to go up for three. Yes! Oh. Got it! And the Friars are going to win on the road for the fifth time in six tries in Washington, D.C. And they will sweep the Georgetown Hoyas. The final here is 73 to 63. Got a big game for you this afternoon here at the Dunkin' Donuts Center in downtown Providence in the Big East Conference. The Providence Friars and the 19th ranked Marquette Golden Eagles. Inside the back. Ah! For Nate Watson. Nice look by Alpha Diallo. The double moves the ball and intercepted in the lane by Gantt. Gant pushes up the floor, finds Duke, dishes off Malik, step back three. Ah! Oh man, what a pass by Duke. But here's Howard who drives, got it stripped and stolen. Alpha has it end to end. He will drive and jam it home. First basket of the game for Alpha Diallo on the strip steal and drive. Now comes the left from Malik who gets into the lane, bounces to Khalif. <laughs> John comes to the right side, driving the baseline as Kane pulls up, throws it away, and it's intercepted. Knocked to the floor, picked up by Pipkins. Pipkins, alley oop, the Duke catches oh. it. Oh. Oh. Man. What a shot by Duke. He was above the rim on that one with his elbows. Away by Diallo. Outlet pass. Malik White. Duke. Oh! Again. Double. Deep. Lobs it back out. And the ball is stolen by Pipkins. He took it away from Marcus Howard. And he says, that's it. Leave me alone. Get away from me. We were under the clock out. Friars <laughs> beat 19th ranked Marquette. Their fourth straight win over a top 25 team, 84 to 72. going into it. I love that preparation going into it. Don't let anybody talk about us, right? A lot of haters out there. Family on three, one, two, three. AJ Reeves dumps it off to the post, finds Alva Diallo who attacks and he scores. Well, that's that switch you're talking about. Finds Diallo, goes left side for Pipkins, three-pointer. Yes! Boom. He's right there on Gillespie. Now goes right to Diallo, right side for Malik. Step back, three-pointer for Malik. Yes! Good step back there by Malik when he gets the three-pointer to go down. At right side for Malik, up high. Young, give and nice go, pass. backdoor pass, and a layup for Malik White. To the right side, crosses back, step back, three-pointer up. Yes! Well, Cooley saw a slider on him. It penetrates him, goes right down the lane, lays it up, gets it to go, and one! Here's White crossing over, and Samuels goes right to the rim. Kicks it through left, Pipkins gets an open three. Yes! Oh, what a pass by White. Pip looks double team, steps back on the right side. 12 to shoot, gonna go up for three. Yes! Oh. What a big basket by Luan Pipkins. And to shoot. Duke, pick and roll inside. Khalif scores! Malik, Malik into the corner. Finds Watson in the post. He scores over Great. Robinson Earl. Pipkins crosses over on Gillespie. Spins, goes up with the fadeaway jumper and scores! <laughs> But the Friars win it anyway. They defeat 11th ranked Villanova on the road, 58 to 54. The Providence College has five straight top 25 wins. It tells you how good our league is from top to bottom. And 
It tells us that our guys are, are, are really focused, understanding we're trying to right a wrong. And tonight inside the Dunkin' Donuts Center, Big East basketball, and it is big. They're all big at this time of year, but yeah, this one's big too. It's Providence, and it's the Xavier Musketeer. This season in the Big East, Pipkins for three. Got it. Game's never pretty, but we found a way to win five in a row, and this league is really, really hard. And people will count us out before we're not there yet. I can't tell you how proud I am of the group. I'm telling you, and I said this before, on December, whatever, when we played Florida, everybody had something negative to say about us. I'm telling you, right? They don't like each other. They got the worst coaching staff in the country. The AD doesn't dress well. <laughs> right? <laughs> Tell you what though, keep our circle tight, keep our confidence high, just come ready tomorrow, prepare for the ball to our senior. And I can't tell you that's going to be an emotional day. As hard as it may be to believe, this is the regular season finale. Providence Friar basketball for 2019 and 2020. But it is also senior night here at the Dunkin' Donuts Center as the Friars entertain the DePaul Blue Demons. And hi again, everyone. I'm John Rook, along with Joe Hassett. We were just talking about this. It's hard to believe that it's the last game of the regular season. and the ovation for the five seniors here at the Dunkin' Donuts Center. Young, White, Holt, Diallo, Pipkins all wave to the crowd. Final 15 seconds will tick away. The Friars will finish 13 and three at home at the Dunkin' Donuts Center this year. They will go to 12 wins against six losses for the first time in their history in the Big East to get to the 12 win mark. And Providence moves to 19 and 12 overall, and they are on fire for the Big East tournament next week. 93-55, the final score. Just talking with the staff in there, y'all deserve a ton of credit, a ton of credit for where we were. Where we were, what a remarkable, remarkable turnaround. And I, I give you all the credit because it turned in that Texas game. It really did. Where our urgency, our toughness, our togetherness came. And it, even though it was ups and downs, we are playing as well as any team in America. And we can beat any team in America. And you gotta to continue to believe that. What you did, right? How long has Providence College been playing basketball in the Big East? 40 years? This is the first team in the history of the school to win 12 Big East games, and I'm really, really proud of that. Yeah. <laughs> never, never take that legacy away from you seniors. We set the foundation. Now let's go turn the world up. Let's get it, let's get in Madison Square Garden. Let's get us a chip. Here we go.